Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing Yorkshire fish cakes. As you can see I've got all the ingredients to put in a bowl. I put some salt in at the top so I'm going to pull that down into the flour and then I'm going to tip it all Alright, then I'm not going to tip it all. That's more or less all of it, isn't it? So, that's the flour in. Like I said, there's salt already in. And it does say a little splash of vinegar. That's a splash of vinegar. So I'm going to mix that now and then I'm going to put some water in it and make it proper batter. Right, and I'm going to add some more water and mix it round. I know I'm moving off the camera shot, so I'm sorry if I am, but I'm doing my best. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the batter, then I'm going to show you when it's done, then I'm not moving around. Right, I've got some potatoes. I'm going to put it's a bit, uh, it's a bit thick for a potato. Like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, I know on a Yorkshire fish cake it's all the fish is all battered and mashed up and everything. So I'm going to drop it in there. Get my spoon and turn it over and now I'm going to put it in the chip pan and that is the end product of a fish cake right we had a little accident the tater came away from the fish so I'm just going to try the tater first Mmm, mmm, yeah. Mmm. And I think that's the fish. I think if it were together, it would taste lovely, but as it were, it tastes well, just like you get from the chip shop. Right, I can't wait to get back to that fish cake. <laughs> well, was near fish cake. So if you, if you, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. If you haven't subscribed, get subscribing, get everybody subscribing. I'm sorry I'm messing it all up, but a bit of bad luck. Thank you, bye.